when couple decides to go for IVF treatment, detailed explanation of the procedure is done. Cost of the treatment, number of days to be attended, and success rate are informed. Any doubts regarding the treatment are clarified. IVF cycle is done in two stages. The first stage is preparing the couple for IVF treatment. Couple is advised to come between day 18 to 24 of woman menstrual cycle. The four major steps in this preparatory stage are blood investigation for couple to screen for infections and other health problems, freezing and storing the semen sample of the husband as backup, performing a transvaginal ultrasound to check for any abnormalities in the uterus, tubes and ovaries and assessing the egg producing capacity of the woman by counting the antral follicles in each ovary. After receiving the requisition slip from the gynecologist for semen analysis test, male patient has to submit the semen sample as per instructions given in the semen sample collection kit to Andrology lab. At Andrology lab, the lab technician, after receiving the semen sample along with requisition slip from patient, will verify the patient details and test details and then semen sample container is duly labeled in presence of the patient. The semen sample is then examined by qualified lab technician using computer analyzed semen analysis system. During the analysis, lab technician load the semen sample into sperm counting chamber using micro pipette and observe under microscope to estimate the sperm count, motility and sperm morphology. Giving injection desapeptile which is a GnRH analog to women to balance the hormones FSH, LH and E2 produced in her body before going for the actual treatment. The second stage of treatment starts four weeks after desapeptile injection. No restrictions are imposed on couple after this injection. The five steps involved in IVF treatment are checking E2 and LH blood levels on day one along with a hysteroscopy which involves examining the uterine cavity with a scope done under anesthesia, administering injections to women for egg growth on every day for 10 to 12 days based on her response and monitoring the growth by ultrasonography and estrogen levels in the blood. Once the follicles are growth inch, HCG or ovitrail trigger is given to mature the eggs and release of eggs. Eggs are collected through transvaginal technique involving a ultrasound guided needle piercing through vaginal wall to reach the ovaries. Through this needle, the follicles can be aspirated and the eggs are floating in the fluid collected into tubes. This procedure takes about 15 minutes and usually done under anesthesia. Follicular fluid is poured into egg collection dish and observed under stereo microscope. Eggs surrounded by cumulus cells are identified. Retrieved eggs are transferred to GMOPS media and are subjected to a process called trimming by embryologist under chiral conditions in a laminar flow cabinet in which the surrounding granulosa cells of the eggs are separated. The eggs are then exposed to an enzyme solution hyaluronidase. This enzyme digests the surrounding granulosa cells and eggs are then transferred to GMOPS media where remaining granulosa cells, if any, are completely removed by manual denudation process. The denuded oocytes are categorized into M2, 
M1, P1 and Atretic based on the maturation status before being transferred into CO2 incubator for stabilization for 60 to 90 minutes. Intracytoplasmic sperm injection involves preparation of big C dish. Here a thin layer of polyvinyl pyrodilone or PVP is placed and evenly spread in the center of the IC dish. Later, GMOPS media droplets are placed around the PVP streak. Both PVP streak and media drops are covered by oil for tissue culture to minimize the evaporation of media and PVP. XC dish is placed in the CO2 incubator for 45 to 60 minutes. Semen sample submitted by the male partner is processed for exceed procedure. The process involves labeling of semen processing tube with both male and female partner names and ID number. Semen from the collection container is transferred to semen processing tube and adequate quantity of sperm separation media is added to retrieve the highly motile and morphologically normal spermatosa from semen. Intracytoplasmic sperm injection procedure begins with setting up of microglass capillary pipettes, maintenance of 37 degrees centigrade temperature on XC dish holder, and checking of microscope lens and objectives. An injection pipette designed for injection of sperm into egg from yellow casing is inserted into injection shaft, and a holding pipette from white casing meant for stabilization of egg during the sperm injection is fixed into holding shaft of the micro manipulator. Both injection and holding pipettes are aligned to focus using inverted microscope. Processed semen sample is loaded into PVP streak and eggs are placed in media drops into XA dish holder is placed on the stage warmer of the microscope. Both injection pipette and holding pipette are bring to focus in the XA dish by using appropriate objectives with magnification ranging from 10x, 20x and 32x with forward progressive motility and morphologically normal are selected and immobilized with injection pipette. Immobilized perms are aspirated into injection pipette and are transferred to media drops containing X. Sperms in the injection pivot are ejected near to the tip using trackball controller of injection pivot and deposited in the egg, which were held in place by holding pivot. Injected eggs are then rinsed in the GMOPS media before being transferred to fertilization media for incubation into the time-lapse embryo system. The embryos are under interrupted controlled condition of temperature, CO2 and environment for 4 to 5 days depending on particular IVF clinical protocol. On the day of embryo transfer, good quality embryos are selected for embryo transfer. During the embryo transfer, an embryo transfer syringe filled with transfer medium is connected to embryo transfer catheter and then embryos were loaded into catheter. ET catheter loaded with embryos was then handed over to gynecologist for embryo transfer into female partner.